Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Simeon Safari where you get to have a relaxing stay high up in the sunny treetops. Note how the bright light just illuminates the hyperkalemic state and see the high-flying hyper variety of the Kalemia mountain peak chimps. You can see our guide here with her Simeon Safari vest, demonstrating that hyperkalemia is generally a potassium level over 5.5. But rest assured, symptoms don't generally occur until it reaches higher levels, usually above 6.5 or so. As part of our legally obligated safety briefing, I'd like to discuss some of the manifestations of hyperkalemia, which I'm sure we won't see on our completely safe tour. <clears throat> First off, you may see a state of metabolic acidosis secondary to reduced urinary ammonium excretion. This is represented by our tour guide, keeping an eye on those yellow acid pools below on our state-of-the-art surveillance system. And while we're glancing at the monitor, look at this playful little tourist that we've caught on the other side of the split screen. He's having so much fun that he's paralyzed. He should remind us that hyperkalemia can be associated with mild weakness that can progress into an ascending flaccid paralysis. In fact, he's having such a thrilling time that his heart appears to just be beaten out of his chest with joy, symbolizing, of course, the cardiac arrhythmias that can be associated with elevated potassium levels. When you think of hyperkalemia, think bradycardia, VTAC, VFib, and everyone's favorite, <sighs> asystole. You'll want to catch all of the hyperkalemic action on your EKG, where you might capture some tall and peaked T waves, represented by our elevated T-stemmed banana bunches. But that's not all. You may also see small or absent P waves and QT shortening, QRS widening, or even a complete deterioration into a sine wave, as symbolized here by our totally safe, wildly wobbling rope bridge. Do hold on and mind the mild turbulence. We don't want a repeat of the Tacoma Narrows. It's exciting, though. It gets your heart rate up. Is, is your heart racing? 